guys in this video we're going to talk about explicit coercion in the last video we saw that when you put two different classes into a vector here's a two different elements of different classes here's a element of numeric here's an element of a character class when you do that they get coerced into a lowest level class and we saw that in the last video in this video we're going to look at something called explicit explicit coercion and that's when you decide what you want the vector to be coerced to. So let's say I have a vector here of characters, two words, uh, two names, Bob and Fred. And let's say I want to coerce this vector x, that is Bob, into a logical vector. And then let's want to, I want to also see what it looks like coerced into a numeric vector. So if I run this code, I'll just highlight it and press Control Enter. When I run that, look what I get. I get the coercion to a logical vector produces NAs, and the coercion to a numeric vector produces NAs. And then there's a warning that pops up and says, NAs introduced by coercion. And what that says is, there's no way to coerce Bob and Fred into a logical true or false uh, vector. And so the result is just NA. It, it means uh, not applicable. And the same goes for numeric. There's a way to coerce Bob and Fred into a number. So the result is again NA. So you want to be aware of this when you're coding because you might get this error. Warnings introduced, oh, uh, NA introduced by coercion. You want to know what's going on when you see that. And this is what's going on. You're trying to take one class, which is a character class, you know, a vector of characters, and you're trying to push that into a vector that is logical or a vector that's numeric and it's not going to happen. There's no way to make this a true or false vector or a numeric vector. In the same way, if we have a logical vector here, x, that contains true or false, and let me just print that out. Now let's, let's try to make this true or false vector into characters and let's try to make it into numeric. So if I try to run this bit of code, again I'll highlight and press control enter, look what happens. Um, I can successfully coerce this into a character, a character vector here. You know, here's my vector x, it prints out true, false. I turn it into a vector of characters. You could see it puts the quotes around it, true and false. And then it can successfully convert it to a numeric vector, where true is represented as 1 and false is represented as 0. That is always going to be the case when, uh, when you're dealing in R. R will always represent things that are non-zero is true and anything that's zero is false. So let me just uh, show you that. If I have x is equal to a number four and zero, and I want to coerce this, you know, x, I want to coerce it as logical. If I run this if code. Look what happens. Um, here's my vector that contains two numeric numbers, four and zero, and here they are, four and zero. And then I coerce this numeric vector into a logical vector of true or false. Anything that anything that's zero is going to be false. Anything that's non-zero is going to be true. So that's how the coercion from numeric to logical works. So you just want to be aware of being able to explicitly coerce data into a different class. And you do that with the as functions. There's an as.logical, an as.numeric, an as.character. And you could look those up over here in the help if you want more information on those. Uh, you just type as dot, and there's all kinds of coercion uh, functions available. You could do as.complex, you know, as.character, all kinds of stuff. But that's what's going on, and it's, it's pretty straightforward to, to understand what's happening. You're going from one class to another. Sometimes you can do it. And sometimes you can't do it. It'll produce NAs uh, like we did over here. With uh, If I run this again real quick, you'll see the NAs. So sometimes it makes no sense to do it. Um, you just want to be aware of that. Other times it's okay when you go from true-false to uh, one or zero. Okay, that's it for this video.